this is uh, a description of uh, a new meniscus repair technique, uh, which we call it limited capsule bridge technique, which is a novel technique, we call it Assad's technique. The authors, Dr. Asad Ahmed, Dr. Abdul Mohdi Al Khawaja, and Dr. Burhan Al Rais. Uh, the authors have no conflict of interest to disclose. These are the instruments used for meniscus repair. We need a BDS suture with spinal needle, suture retrieval, nut pusher, and a lasso or scorpion. The first step in this technique is uh, to pass the vertical uh, suture through the torn part of the meniscus. This is sure after refreshment of the uh, meniscal tear. And we use for this the meniscus lasso or micro lasso, as you see here. In this video, we pass the nitinol wire. And after that, we pass the vertical suture see the video on the right now the vertical suture in place after this first step we do the second step which is advancement of the uh, spinal needle loaded with BDS loop uh, from outside to inside the joint just under the meniscus and you see here in the photo uh, this is a video showing how we do this step. We pass the spinal needle, which is loaded by the PDS loop. After that, we use the suture retrieval to pass the lower limb of the vertical suture through the loop. After that, we do the thir third step, which is uh, withdrawal, minimal withdrawal of the needle just to the limit of the outer uh, outer limit of the capsule and after that we shift the needle up uh, without going out of the skin through the same skin puncture after that we progress the needle to inside the joint so we have another PDS loop inside the joint but above the meniscus and you see here this video show it after passing the first suture limb through the inferior PDS loop we withdraw the needle to outside the joint on the limit of the capsule we sh shift it up and after that we advance the needle which is loaded with the PDS loop so this is the second PDS loop above the meniscus after that we take the upper limb of the suture through the loop and pass it so we have both the suture limbs pass. This is another nice photo from another case which show you how the vertical limbs uh, pass through the BDS loop above and below the meniscus. After this step, we uh, withdraw the needle out of the skin and after that we pass the BDS loop which in turn will, will, will uh, pass the suture limbs to outside the um, joint and here you see the video now we take the BDS loops out and this will take both limbs of the suture to outside the skin and this is an outer view we can repeat this step many times according to the size of the meniscus and you see in this case we have six uh, sutures and each suture limb uh, pass through a mini small or small puncture on the skin and you can see how we can go uh, safely with this technique uh, far posterior medial and after this we can do not tying on a limited capsule bridge so we call it a limited capsule bridge technique and you can see here uh, we can make some widening or mini widening of the puncture by using a mosquito after that we can do the knot tying this is another case uh, for repair of the lateral meniscus and we use here the knot pusher and we use what we call the surgical knot so we can save or skewer the knot and the loop 
after that we can pass the we can cut the extra suture we can use this technique like using the mosquito and knife to cut the extra sutures and you see here uh, uh, photo show the uh, outer view of these sutures before and uh, after finishing the knot tying and cut the extra suture and you see how it is only mini incisions or mini punctures and in these cases you can go uh, with this technique far posterior medial or even sometimes posterior without the need for exploration of the uh, softness nerve uh, thanks for watching